Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, hello, welcome, thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a two looks, one palette, first impressions of the Urban Decay Wild Greens palette, as well as their Wild Lash Mascara. So I am beyond excited because I never get to do like super early reviews, but I was kindly sent this from Influencer. I'm not required to do a YouTube video or anything on it, so I never get to do these early reviews. I don't really get PR or anything. So when I went to my mailbox and I saw this, I was super excited. At first I was like, Urban Decay doesn't have me on their PR list. like. They don't even know who I am. And then I looked at it on the side and it says influencer. So I had no idea I was getting this. I did one of the influencer surveys and stuff, but their surveys don't tell you what items you're getting. They just ask you about different types of products and things like that. Didn't get anything saying that I was receiving anything. I ended up getting it in my email saying that I was approved for this box box after I had already gotten it. So it was a total surprise to me, but I saw the packaging, I saw the little snake and I got so excited. I I've seen pictures of this on Instagram so I knew it was launching and I was really really excited because this is my kind of color story. So the fact that I got this from Influencer and it's still pretty early. Alright, so this palette actually launched yesterday. Today is the 29th so it is just a day after. I didn't get to film yesterday because I had to work so I know there's probably already a couple videos out on this. I haven't watched any myself personally because I wanted to just see this palette, the mascara and everything for myself but I hope it's still early enough that you guys watch it and you guys care about my opinion on it versus it being way too late where no one cares about this anymore. This is what the palette looks like itself and it opens up like this. You've got your neutral shades and then you've got your green tones. There is no mirror in here which I don't mind because I have my little mirror that I get ready with anyways so that's not the biggest deal breaker for me but I just I think it's super cute to open it up like this and again I love the colors I love the snakes on it and I just cannot wait to play with this I am gonna be doing a two looks with this I think we're gonna do the neutrals on one side the greens on the other just to try to get a feel for as many of the colors as possible and I will be doing swatches as well so I'll be inserting those at the beginning and then we'll do the two eye looks and then for the mascara it comes in the same beautiful packaging I don't know how well it's focusing on the wand there but that's what the wand looks like so it's a slightly curved wand so I cannot wait to try the mascara as well. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing my first impressions, swatches, two looks with this palette, as well as seeing how the mascara performs, then just keep on watching. Alright, so since this is an Urban Decay palette, I figured it'd be best to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is just a little mini size. It is their original. I know they have a tinted one, an anti-aging one. This is just their original. So I'm going to do one eye first and then we'll do the other. So I'm going to prime just one eye right now. Alright, so I've zoomed you guys in a little bit here. We're going to start in with the shade Lo-Fi. And we're just going to apply this into the crease just as a light transition shade. Alright, so this is really, really pretty. You guys can see that it's just a little bit deeper than my skin tone, but it's too dark for me to set all over. Like, it'd be way too dark to have underneath my brow bone, which... I don't mind. I don't need an under like brow setting shade. I can always just like go in with like powder. I normally use a tinted shadow base anyways. That's like a good color so it's not the biggest deal breaker for me. But if you like setting under your brow bone and you're a similar shade to me, you're not going to have a good shade for that. Then I want to take a little bit of earth side, pop this in, in that outer corner. Alright, it turned down the brightness a little bit, so hopefully you can see the colors a little bit better. The earth side shade just adds a little bit of coolness and contour to it. The first shade, which is lo-fi, is definitely a little bit warmer. So depending on your preference, I think they're both a similar depth. It just depends if you want a warmer tone or a cooler tone. And then we're going to take the shade Kickback, and we're going to apply this just on the outer corner. Deepen that up a little bit. And then I'm going to bring it down in the outer corner of the lower lash line a little bit right now just to kind of tie everything together already just because I do have my base on already. I don't have to wait to put my base on and then do my lower lash line. 
but we're just gonna knock that out right now. So then I want to take the turmeric shade here and then run that on the inner half of the lower lash line or more like the inner two thirds. Go in with that first brush with no additional product. I'm just going to blend that kickback shade in with the first two. Alright, so now I want to go into the fuzz shade and apply this all over the lid. I really hope the camera is doing the shade justice. That is so pretty and it picks up with a brush nicely. Like, what? Okay. So I do want to try spraying this shade with a uh, setting spray just to see how much more foiled and metallic it is. I'm going to take a little more of that shade and spray it with my Ofra setting mist. Just one little spritz and it is so pretty. I really hope it's translating on camera. So then I want to add a little bit of high vibe just on the outer half of the lid. Alright, so as you can see on my face here, there is a little bit of fallout with the shimmer shade. Spraying it definitely helped prevent the fallout, but it's easy enough to wipe away. You can always do, you know, foundation and everything last, but if you do put foundation and concealer and stuff on, just set your face first so that it's just easy to dust off. Don't leave a tacky base or it's gonna just stick. And then we're gonna take a little more of kickback and just kind of blend away the shimmer that got into the crease or too far over on the outer corner where I just want it to stay dark and matte and not shimmery. Then we're going to take a little bit of chill on a pencil brush and we're going to pop that on the inner corner as a highlight. Do you see how bright that is? That is so bright. Okay. I love that. I love that so much. Oh my gosh. That would be a beautiful face highlight shade too. Going back in with the first brush and a little bit of lo-fi just to kind of blend away the shimmer where I don't want it and to blend that kickback shade a little bit as well. So now on to look number two. Again, we are starting with the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. Alright, so we're going to go into a little bit of Super Greens. So we're going to go into a little bit of Super Greens. That's the lightest green shade we have. We don't really have any deep dark green shades, at least for the brown row we had a deep darker brown. I mean, it wasn't too dark of a brown, but it was still a pretty dark to give depth. Our darkest green is literally the shimmer here, so I wish we would have had a darker matte, but this is so pretty. It's like a seafoam green. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that's such a fun shade. All right, now I'm only gonna keep this in the inner part of the crease here. I wanna use the other matte green for the outer crease and then kind of just focus the shimmers all over the lid, I think. So now we're gonna dip into the kale shade and we're gonna apply this on the outer corner like that and just blend it to where the super green shade ended. That is so pretty. I love both of these shades so much. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're gonna go into the shade Twist. So we're gonna apply this in the inner third of the lid. So I just want to lay these shades down first. I might bring this as like an inner corner highlight shade as well. We will see. But I want to just get these colors laid down and then I'll go back and spray over it after if I decide to. Now we're gonna go into the shade Prickly. Apply this in the middle third of the lid. Then we're going to go into the shade Stash and apply this on the outer third of the lid. And I'm bringing this into the crease a little bit and really blending to try to kick off some of the shimmer for the crease, but I still want to add this as a little bit of depth. Again, you can see there is a little bit of fallout on my face, so I'm just going to wipe that away real quick. So we're going to take the shade Kale, and we're going to run this all on the lower lash line. Then taking a little bit of Super Greens, I'm just going to pop this to blend a little bit of the inner third here, just to lighten that up a bit. Alright, so we're going to go back in with a little bit of Prickly. I'm not going to spray this outer shade because I don't want it as metallic. Just because I'm trying to use the stash shade for some depth. But I am going to spray this Prickly shade as well as the Twist shade. Just to try and get those shimmers to be a little bit more bam impactful. And oh my lord, look at that. That is stunning. 
Oh my gosh. Now going in to twist, spraying that. That is so beautiful, oh my gosh. All right, so then for my inner corner highlight on this eye, I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of twist and chill just because I want it to be a little bit brighter than the twist shade and I'm not spraying this and just popping that on. So pretty. Adding a little more of just twist and bringing it in the lower lash line just a little bit. Then going in with the small brush I've been using for my lower lash line with nothing on it. I'm just gonna do a little bit of extra blending and then I'm gonna blend the inner corner a little bit. Alright, so here are the two eye looks complete. I decided not to do eyeliner just because I want to see how this mascara makes my lashes look. I didn't want the liner to take away from that at all, but I'm not going to curl my lashes or anything. I don't do that on the everyday as well, so I'm not going to do that for this. But we're going to just go ahead and apply the mascara. I think it's a good size brush. This is so scary trying to talk and do mascara. I like the brush shape. It's grabbing my lashes really nicely. I feel like I can really get under and like, you know, really coat the lash. Alright, so this is what my eye looks like with the mascara and then without the mascara. I know the eyeshadow can kind of make it look a little bit different, but just so you can get an idea that my lash is here, you can definitely see it. They're a little bit longer, they're a little bit more voluminous, they don't feel too heavy or weighed down. I will leave a pinned comment on how it wears. It might be a, in a couple days, just because it's 8 o'clock at night right now. It's not like I'm going to be wearing this out, and I want to get this video up as soon as possible for you guys, so just stay tuned for a pinned comment. Hopefully I can wear it all day tomorrow, and then I'll let you guys know, so at least it's not too late to have a comment on how the mascara wears. And that was just one coat of the mascara on that eye. I didn't dip back into the uh, tube at all. I just used whatever was on the brush. I'm going to go in with one more coat on this eye. Hopefully it hasn't dried too long. just want to see how buildable it is. I really like this brush shape to coat the lashes. You can see the second coat versus just a one coat, and I think it looks really, really nice. The mascara isn't too wet of a formula where I feel like I'm going to make a mess, but it's not too dry where you're just like feeling it's already going bad. So that's really nice, and I just, I really like how my lashes look. But here is my eyes with two coats of mascara. I think they look really, really good. Again, I will have to update you guys on how it wears throughout the day, so hopefully I can get you guys a pinned comment by tomorrow night. All right, guys, so here are the two looks completed using the Urban Decay Wild Greens palette as well as their mascara. So the palette retails for $44 and the mascara retails for $26. So it was available as of January 28th, which was yesterday on the Urban Decay website. For Ulta in-store and online, it's available on January 30th, which is tomorrow. So hopefully I can get this up in time for it to go live at Ulta. And then February 27th, it'll be online at Sephora, Nordstrom, and in-store at Macy's. And then March 11th, in-store at Sephora. And then for Canada, it's available January 27th, so it's already been available for two days. And then on February 27th in Sephora, Canada. And then it's got a bunch of other launch dates for all the different countries. As far as the palette goes, I think this is so beautiful. I really love the color story of it, the packaging is everything. I'm obsessed with snakes, so the packaging sold me on this palette. I love that there's the warm tone neutrals. You got your greens. Like, these are my go-to type neutral shades, and I'm just absolutely obsessed. It's so well done. These shimmers definitely apply better with your finger if you want no fallout. I noticed that with doing the swatches. They definitely perform better using your finger, but if you want a more precise application, definitely just use a flat brush, spray it a little bit, and you get very intense payoff, and you get it more precise than trying to like use your finger, but maybe that's just my issue because I have really small eyes, so yeah. Overall, I think this is a really, really good palette. If the color story calls to you, I definitely recommend it. The other thing with this palette is the packaging here. You can bend it back nicely without breaking it, like it doesn't crack or anything, so you can lay it flat on your desk if that's how you're going to get ready and just dip into the shadows. You don't have to worry about like 
holding it or finagling it so that it doesn't bend and break. So let me know what you guys think of the looks I created here. If you guys want some more inspiration on looks, let me know and I will do that for you guys as well, just with this palette being newer. All right, guys, so that is it for my two looks. First impressions of the Urban Decay Wild Greens palette as well as their mascara. So let me know which look you guys like better, the neutral side or the green side. So yeah, if you guys are planning on picking up this palette, let me know. I hope I helped you guys out in the decision-making process with the swatches and showing you guys how they perform on my eyes. I'm going to quit rambling because I want to try to get this video up as soon as possible for you guys. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell notification so you guys know every single time that I upload. And yeah, love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!